Welcome to DeCoyne High School. Student athletes took part in conditioning workouts, both boys and girls. We arrived when football was in their conditioning workouts. And one thing I've learned in this pandemic, we're all trying to stay safe. We're all trying to stay separated. But togetherness is the key word. All of DeCoyne's head coaches have come together to pitch in, even if it wasn't their team's specific time to work out. When the stage one information came out, we met uh, all of our head coaches, uh, got together and met and talked about you know, what, what we wanted to do for the summer. Um, almost all of our head coaches are involved in our summer conditioning um, and, and just getting kids out and seeing kids again, it's, it's been good for us and I think it's been good for the kids too. Come on, Three, two, one, and up, fellas. We have to model as, as coaches for our kids, uh, you know, how to, how to get along, how to, how to have relationships and build with one another. And um, it's great because we've got football coaches and volleyball, obviously fall, you know, sports going on. Uh, but then you've got basketball coaches, softball uh, going on. Uh, it's, it's just a team effort. Everybody's needed. Everybody's got to do their part. Ready. Go. It's huge, you know, to have every athlete here and everybody working and every kid uh, pushing each other. Uh, with us, we're doing girls and boys at the same time. Uh, so we get to see all the, all the different athletes and, and build relationships with them and, and see them work and uh, get out here and, and push each other. And that's kind of what we're looking for. There's been a great turnout from the kids who have participated in the conditioning workouts. We've got probably in, in all sports combined over 150 kids coming to workouts. Um, we've got lots of different stations set up and lots of different uh, time blocks set up. Um, it, it's taken a lot of communication. You know, all of our assistant coaches um, and head coaches are doing a good job of communicating with kids. And, and uh, it, it's, it's been a challenge, but it's, it's been good to get them back in here too. You never know with the, with the pandemic that's going on, uh, you know, what, what parents will let kids do and, and, and how motivated they are to, to come out and do stuff. But uh, to be able to come up with 100, 150 girls and boy athletes getting here and, and trusting us with, you know, the parents trusting us with their kids and, and keeping them safe has is, uh, is, is been important and it's, it's just been awesome, awesome turnout. Go. We have, you know, 450-ish kids uh, in, in the building thereabouts. And we've got, as they were talking about, you know, about 150 are coming to workouts. Um, and so, you know, we've all got to we've all got to work together. The school, our size, uh, we need kids to be two and three sport athletes uh, at least. And uh, so, you know, again, just kind of build that together, this camaraderie. That's that's what this time of year is really all about. No balls are allowed on the field, so no sports specific drills. Coaches and athletes alike are adjusting on the fly. This week we were hoping to be sports specific, so we're sitting there trying to come up with game plans for for basketball or softball. And then, the, you know, the day of, you're going back to the other situation. So you feel like you're, you're game planning every single day uh, for different situations because you're, you're not sure what's going to happen and what's going to take place. When we are able to be sports specific and when our seasons do begin, um, as coaches, we're going to know the students that have been out here and have been putting in time and have been, have been working hard, uh, those that have been just going through the motions, and then those that have, uh, have just didn't make time for it. Uh, one of the biggest things uh, I've learned through all this is, uh, you know, communication is key. Uh, that, that's one thing and then uh, another is just just getting kids in here to, to run and lift and 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 be together you know that's that's one of the big things uh, that I see from all this um, you know it's it's a different route but uh, I think we've been uh, pretty fortunate here to get all the kids out that we're getting every day